Years have been rough, but we made it. We've had to work through a lot. Personal trials, riots, pandemics, lockdowns, inflation, and what seems to be like a mountain of homework. But did we give up? No. We pushed through it, and now look at us. We're graduating. Another milestone on our journey of life. With this achievement comes some daunting choices. Like what career do we want? What college do we go to if we go to college? What do I want to do in the future? Am I going to get married? What is next in God's plan for my life? We may be worried because you have no idea what God's plan is for you. But take heart. Even if you don't know what his plan is, that doesn't mean he doesn't already know every single detail of your life. How every moment will play out and how he planned and how he plans to use each of these moments in his, our lives <sighs> in his plan. He has a plan for every single one of us, not just as graduates, but every person here, from the youngest baby to the oldest man. He has a plan for each of us. Now, because of our youth, we have so much more opportunities to use each and every one of these moments in our lives to fulfill God's plan. But I already told you, I don't know what God's plan is might say. Well, let's look in the Bible to see if there are any clues about God's plan. In Matthew 22, the Pharisees asked Jesus, what was the greatest commandment? Jesus replied, Let the, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. So step one, love God. Step two, love others. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Jesus Christ for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Step 3. Know God has a plan prepared for you. Proverbs 16.3 says, Commit your work to the Lord, and your plans will become established. In Colossians 3.23, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord. Step uh, the next, work hard. Let's look at 1 Timothy 4.12. It says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Does it say, make sure to carefully follow each bullet point in the plan that God printed out for you to follow? No. It outlines some basic things that we could use to be an example to others. How you talk, how you act, how you treat others, how you believe, and how you avoid sin. These can be seen by others, and these things should reflect Christ, not the world. So there you go. His plan is outlined all through the Bible. He has given us instructions right there in black and white. His plan, love God, love others, no God has a plan prepared for you, work hard, be an example of Christ. That is God's plan for you and me. Of course, we still have hard choices, trials, times of uncertainty, painful moments, laughs, and tears. And he will be right there with each of us through every moment of our lives, with all of his power, his wisdom, his guidance. Right there, if we just ask. So now what do we do? We go out and live our lives moving towards the next milestone, knowing we are followed by God's plan. I'd like to invite Mr. Mark Prescott to come give our keynote address.